Well, I have a lot of questions about Big Ten scheduling equity. Okay. You know, quite frankly, the fact that two out of the last three years we've hardly had a Saturday home game. I mean, we joined the Big Ten, put $600 million of facilities, infrastructure, in terms of parking structures, bars, restaurants, you know, try to make a flourishing downtown element around a, an arena, and we don't get a Saturday game for our league? Come on. You know, and that's, that's I don't, I just think that's wrong. Uh, not only to our fans who now have to come to on a Sunday night game or and then get home for a school night, so to speak, the next day. And we get fans that travel now. Oh, definitely, yeah. It's not like you go from Columbus like I go 15 minutes across town. I mean, they come from North Platte in a plane. And, um, and so it's just uh, one of those things that, uh, uh, you know, I, I'm not particularly fired up about that. We've got our questions on equity. Uh, and I know that there's, you know, what Maryland gets is not what Nebraska gets. I'll just tell you that. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, um, our double plays are great this year. I love it. The strongest schedule you can play is the better off you are. Although, um, you know, it, it's just known that, this, that, that if you play one of the four strongest schedules in the last five years, you haven't made the NCAA tournament. And we're playing the second strongest schedule this year. So the odds are against us. That doesn't mean we're not going to do it. I mean, odds are made to be broken, right? Ask the Cubs.